Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's in the sequence. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Chico! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, the Apex. Don't think you're losing the locker room. Don't you obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. You know, a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Beautiful punch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Nice one, two there. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. It's very tricky when he throws that body A Couple kick. of chins here being tested early. Oh, big left hand there. Able to check that kick as well. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. Great punch. Oh, 
single collar tie here. And they separate. Real nice body kick lands. Back and forth we go! Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Trying to establish that jab once again. There's no give on that leg kick. Just over three minutes to go. Good stick. Push kick there to the body. Punch is blocked. Liver kick. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Single collar tie now. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny does. It doesn't feel good to be kicked like that. Oh, huge Superman punch. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big punch lands through the middle. Nice job on the counter there, and this is really a tried and true counter striker who will try to use the over aggressiveness of his opponents against them, and that's exactly what he did there to great effect. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. And they separate. Big ball for first land. Now he gets back to range. Lands flush with the left hand. Got the single collar tie. Oh, knee to the head. Just misses there with the left. Nice slip to avoid the left. Out of range with that one. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, eats a knee to the head. And they separate. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice defense there, huge block. He's got the over-under now in the clinch. Nice punch lands over the top. 20 seconds left. Lands the overhand right. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Five right, single collar tie now. And now he's got that tie clinch. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you are one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off and my foot would be slippery, wet <laughs> or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. Won that last round. This round, you want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches. All right, DC, second round is getting yeah, underway. Round, round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You can have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this? Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Nice kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they're fighting behind it real well. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. 
Oh, big punch land. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? You hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse, you gotta play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit, he does a great job of that. Oh, that's a nice strike. Connects now with the one-two. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, cash money with that left-hand counter. Oh, nice job to land a straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. He continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. He goes upstairs for an elbow. Blocks that strike. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Beautiful strike. Stuff to take down, no problem. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the move starts to slow down, he cannot take many of those kicks. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Punch coming, it's blocked. <laughs> Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Missed with that attempt. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Look at the turnover in that kick. They continue to exchange. Punch over the top. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, knee to the head. Now he's got the Muay Thai plot. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, these man. Gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping on the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Get you, get you. What a punch. A oh, little single collar tie there. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You're winning this fight. You have to stay ahead now. Let's get back out there and keep doing what we're doing. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this low, God's going to switch it up. With Corner is able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Nice. Nice shot. 
Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that thing. Shake that thing. Nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter, and I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, you Nice strike. This is his game. He likes to control his opponent's posture with that collar tie and land those nice elbows around the guard. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. It's not over, it's not over. Nice punch here. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Yes, that you heard him in the last round. Same exact one. And that left hook landed on the button. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Both fighters throwing heat now. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Right hand punches the clinch. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Oh, single collar tie here. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Straight punch lands. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Single collar tie now. Nice leg kick lands. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. Superman punch lands. Got the single collar tie. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, big elbow. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is fighting them up now. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, straight right. Nice punch, Lance. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? Uh -huh. I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking. It was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round.
Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling. This round. All right, next round is now underway. Previous oh, round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good round. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Nice counter shot there. Try to establish that jab. Oh, spinning back twist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. All right, single collar tie now. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. How good is that right hand? Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Oh, nice. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Nice one, two there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting. That one appeared to stun him. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's done. He's done. Oh, no way. Spinning back fist. Oh, straight right. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, nice counter jab. He snapped the head back. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Able to land the single ground strike there. Nice move in the half guard. Shades of Daniel Cormier slicing through that guard. Unbelievable. I love it. Like a knife through butter. What a great job, Pass. Gets up again here, but hurts. Great punch, landing with so much power. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Watch knees to the body. Dig and kick. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Wow! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. An uppercut landed. Good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you it. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve.
it starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. Oh, he just hold him, he just hold him. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Fifth and final round. Nice loop and punch. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Nice. And they separate. Unable to connect with a right hook. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. Unbelievable. <laughs> Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 49 seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by knockout, the And there is the man of the moment and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight